Hello again, I'm Justin D. Roy, and I am back with more trailer reviews. Uh, today I'm reviewing The Shape of Water. Uh, this is a new uh, Guillermo del Toro project. Um, I've already heard from uh, from a friend that um, he says it's pretty good. Or at least, you know, the trailer, it looks pretty good. And, um, of course, being, ba uh, being made by... Guillermo del Toro has definitely got my interest piqued in this already, just from his name alone, because regardless as if I really enjoyed the movie, I thought it was really great, it, he creates these just fabulous, like, very imaginative, uh, like, fantasy worlds. Like, I'm talking, like, about, like, you know, Pam's Labyrinth, Hellboy... Um, the Blade 2 movie, he has a way of just really drawing you into these worlds he creates for his movies. And um, I gotta say, like, just from, like I said, his name alone, it's like always draws me into these movies. So that gets me very interested um, in just at least checking out and seeing what he's doing next. So um, let's get into this uh, new trailer then. If I told you about her, the princess without voice, what would I say? very well be the most sensitive asset ever to be housed in this facility. You may think that thing looks human. Stands on two legs, right? But we're created in the Lord's image. You don't think that's what the Lord looks like, do you? This creature is intelligent, capable of language, of understanding emotions. looks at me, he does not know how I am incomplete. He sees me as I am. The natives in the Amazon worship the of the God. Get him out. What are you talking about? No. So we need to take it apart, learn how it works. I don't want an intricate, beautiful thing destroyed. We can do nothing. I'm sorry. Don't do this, Alexa. What is she saying? Don't do this. It's not even human. If I told you about her, what would I say? I wonder. Well, like I said, like, uh, like I said in the beginning, he just creates these amazing fantasy worlds, and this looks really cool. Uh, the only complaint I have is that, like, you know, the creature he's using, like, he, he kind of seems to just be ripping off, like, kind of like his character that, uh, from, uh, Hellboy Abe, although it's not really his character because it's a comic book character, but it looks eerily similar to Abe Sapien from that. Also, kind of a little bit like the creature or from the Black Lagoon, you know, which you could say that maybe they ripped off Abe Sapien from the creature from the Black Lagoon. So... Um, yeah, this looks so good. It is such an interesting concept. It, my friend who told me that he liked this uh, said it kind of reminded me of this Netflix one that just came out. I think I pronounced this right, Aja. Um, 
but it's not necessarily the same. It's kind of a bit of more so like their like government facilities, like trying to like you know study and like dissect this creature or Ajo's about like this corporation that's trying to get this animal because they are going to use it for food consumption. That's not necessarily what this is. They're not going to eat him, I would think. I hope not. Um, it is kind of like this bizarre love story, almost, that you kind of feel like this woman, the, the, I can't remember the, the character's name, I already forgot, but um, the one who was the, the mute, like, certainly cares for this creature and seems to be developing this kind of very intense bond with it. Um, just very fascinating looking film. Um, I'm mer more than likely definitely going to go see this when it comes out. Um, but yeah, it looks great. Gets my approval. Um, so that's all for me. Be sure to, uh, like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And, uh, please also try and check out my short film, Time Trial Sucks. We'll leave you a, uh, link in the description below. That's all for me. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.